Okay, so this is Keep. This is your CRM system. So all your dealers are kept on this system. Um, so I'm going to show you the basics of how to navigate the system. So when you log on, this is what you'll see. It's the dashboard. You've got all the contacts that we have on the system, the new leads. So that means um, any dealers that we've added on to the system. Um, new clients, that's the subscribers. So leads is obviously people that we've added and not yet converted into a client. Um, the broadcast, that is for uh, automated emails that get sent through Keep. Um, and you've got all your tasks here and the recent activity. Uh, I don't really use this and we don't use it to record the potential sales. So what I will show you now is the contacts and what they look like. So you click here and you've got all the people. So they're called people on here, but they're obviously our dealers. So for example, we're going to click on Adventure Leisure Campers. And this is what a subscriber will look like. You'll be able to tell they're a subscriber because they are clicked as client and they have the blue circle. So this is where we're going to keep all our notes. So you can see here, James left a previous note. The reason we put our initials in front is because it doesn't record who left the comment. And for future use, it's just good to know who's spoken to him and recorded the information. You've got tags. So a tag is basically how we can run reports on certain information that we're looking for. For example, if you wanted to create a report on all the dealers that sell camper vans, we can use this to do so. So when you're adding on a new dealer, it's really important to make sure you know what vehicles they sell. So you can add that onto here. When they're a subscriber, you can add um, what subscription package they've used. And also you would need to add the subscriber. Uh, tag. Facebook user, um, we created this to kind of mark any dealers that are using our Facebook groups. So Paul looks after our Facebook groups. Um, so that means that he will let us know if they're using Facebook and we can apply this tag. It's just so you can have a conversation with the dealer saying that you've seen them use our Facebook groups. Um, so you can, that can be like a conversation starter. All the emails that are sent to dealers, um, re regardless if they're a subscriber or not, will be recorded in emails. So you can see here, James only actually sent this dealer one email. Um, and you can click on here and it will connect to your OneDrive email account. You will just need to set that up in the back end. Um, but it only records emails that are sent if the email is kept in the dealer's account. So if you get provided a new email address on the phone, you leave it in the comments, but you also need to make sure that you add it into the, the contact info so that if you do have any email um, exchanges, they are recorded. Okay, so you can see here that there is a task. So this is a follow-up subscriber. Now, we don't actually contact our subscribers um, unless they've contacted us. We just don't want to, uh, like Guy said in the interview, we don't want to remind people that they're paying for the subscription. So we, we just keep this for the future, um, just in case we ever did want to. So that's how that works. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to a lead. So we're going to Stoneacre. Um, this dealer actually was a subscriber, but they had a failed payment. So we have suspended their account. So you can see here, they are now a lead. And if we go on to tags, they've got cancel subscriber and suspended. So a cancel subscriber just means that we are, they've canceled their account. But a suspended means that we've actually suspended their advertising account. So, for example, some dealers, when they cancel, they have about a couple of days left on their subscription. So we don't suspend their account yet. Um, so once we do suspend their account, we just pop that on there. Manual upload, that's how they upload. And obviously they've got the 6 to 15 vehicle package. Um, and you've got your emails recorded in here as well. So that's basically how you would navigate um, to find a dealer or you can go onto companies and search. So I'm going to search Adwick Caravan. So I'm just going to type here and it pops up here. And this is the first kind of profile. So this is the profile of the company. We don't tend to add much information into this section just because we don't use it. Um, but the contact 
is here. So you've got all the relevant uh, notes, tasks, emails. We don't actually have a task in this one um, due to previous relationship problems, but ignore that. <laughs> um, so you can see all the information here. Um, under contacts as well, you have got groups. So when I was saying that you can create reports on using the tags, this is what I mean. So we've created a, a whole list of some that I probably have to go in and remove anyway. Um, but for example, you can make a group by clicking the plus and maybe you want to find subscribers. So, so client includes any client um, and then we're going to use tag uh, we want to see what dealers we have on the up to 25 package so it's come up with 15 dealers and you can name this up to 15 Oops. save group and then all your dealers will be in this information. So, for example, if John or Guy asked you to find out that information, that's how you can do so. Um, so tags is here as well. And this is all the list of tags that we have. So any dealers that um, have, so a, let me just find one. So auto web, that's um, a feed type. So a website provider. So we tag that on as well. For example, if they are a Starkwood user, let me use that as well. So you can see 20 of our dealers on the system have uh, the Starkwood tag applied. So you can also use that to find out information as well. Okay, so that's how you, you navigate the uh, contact section. So how you would find your tasks for the day is if you go to my day and tasks. So you can see filter by all campus for sale or James often. So at the moment, I've been working off campus for sale. So that's um, kind of like my dealers that I've been looking after. And obviously James's was on on his but um because it's just me at the moment i've been using all just so i can keep up with james's dealers as well so i've got a few uh, overdue tasks so um i need to get on with them but also um today i have a task to try and call this person so i would go into the task give them a call leave them a note saying try to call no answer or leave a, a comment about whatever conversation we had and then I would do a follow-up task how you do a follow-up task is you click task here and you just go follow up or whatever you would like did he reply to my email for example this is just an example and you can choose when it's due so it automatically um, chooses the following day but you can choose any day and you can choose any time to organize your tasks note this will just kind of show you um, what the basics of the call is we don't actually use this because we like to leave a lot of um the information in the notes so before you call anyone you would just read the notes um reminder none because you just check your task list or if you would like to you can um and then you choose who you would like to assign it to so for instance it's for me so i would choose myself save and it would be here so that's for the 25th of september i'm just going to clear that because that was just an example um let's have a look what else we can show you so just when you are using the system be careful not to accidentally click this um so if you mark it as complete it will disappear you can quickly try and save it but if you were to refresh it would be gone and you can't see when a task was cleared um, unless you go back to the home and it shows you recent activity so that's that's how that would work I'll just give you a brief um, insight into the automations. Now, when someone completes the online form um, wanting to open up a trade account, it will generate a few things for you. So you'll get an email into the, the inbox. You will also get a task on Keep, and it will start sending out automated emails from the cold email template. So that is all created from here. So let me try and find it for you. So you see here, trade inquiry, you don't need to do this, but this is just handy to kind of get a back, back site as to how it works. So what happens is the subscriber form is submitted and they get an email. 
And so this email continues here. Sorry, it's a lot of clicking. And this is what the email would look like. It would then generate a task for you to call them and, and you know, try and get in contact with them to see if they actually do want to come on board. So that's how the automations work. They are all self-built by us. So obviously we can openly change them. Um, but I'm sure when the time comes to do something like that, John or Guy will speak to you. But that's how that works. You can search here. So if a dealer calls in, I like to, you know, search their name. Um, or if I can't understand them, I'll search the number. So you can just type in here or you can you can type in, who should we type? If you just type in the word caravans, for instance, actually, loads of dealers will come up. So you just go into there and it will open up the profile for you again. Um, so I think that is the basics of how we use Keep. I'm sure there are other functions that you can use, but we, we just don't. And this is what's worked for us. Um, you can see here there's a nine plus, actually. That's just notifications. So it's just basically tells you. So you see on the 3rd of September, the dealer would like to amend their subscription package. Oh, that's because we deleted the account because it was a fake one. Basically, they wanted to create an account with the name A, no contact details. So we just deleted it from the system because we didn't, we couldn't do anything with that. But you can um, mark them all as red just to make it look neater because like, like I said, all your tasks are going to be here. Um, okay, we don't use that actually. Um, but yes, I think that is pretty much the basics of how to use a system um, or how we use it. Um, so I will start a new video on how to do the next thing.